And so today is Reformation Sunday, the day on which we are to remember our heritage as a church of the Reformation. Of course, some of you might wonder, what's the big deal? Why all the fuss? What in the world does Reformation have to do with our day-to-day -day lives? Well, the answer is plenty. And a good way to understand what the Reformation can say to us is to look at the hymn of the Reformation. A mighty fortress is our God. And that's exactly what we are going to do today. Look at that hymn using an older translation which is printed on a bulletin insert so that you can follow along. Now, this hymn was written by Martin Luther and has often been jokingly referred to as the Lutheran National Anthem. And in fact, there are Lutherans who feel a need to stand every time it's sung. But you know, actually, it would make a pretty good personal anthem because of what it proclaims about God and our lives, the truth it proclaims. Now, Luther based his hymn on Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, the psalmist proclaims, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. And you and I know something about that. The earth changing, mountains trembling and shaking, waters roaring and foam. That's exactly what it felt like many years ago on 9-11. Suddenly what had been as solid and sure as the mountains began to tremble and shake, even crumble and fall. And Lord knows the people of New Orleans and other cities certainly know what it's like for waters to roar and foam and bring devastation. And if you've ever lost someone you love, you will know what the psalmist means. Because that's the way it feels. As if the very earth beneath your feet is giving way. As if your very world is dissolving in front of your eyes and you cannot stop it. And the chaos that roars and foams within our hearts and minds and the chaos out of us as well. Nothing's certain anymore. The feeling we get the chaos might overwhelm us at any moment. And the earth changing. Many of us know all about that too. Life suddenly changing on us. Or all the changes beyond our control, the changes that come no matter what we do. The changes that just growing older bring. The changes that illnesses bring, not just the changes in companies or workplace. And especially today do we know about such things. The uncertainty and chaos and changes the coronavirus, racial tension, political division, everyone. And Luther himself knew about such things as well. He wrote this hymn during what was perhaps the worst year of his life. He struggled with depression and deep anxiety and often questioned his faith. And all his work as a reformer seemed threatened. The very church coming undone, the world, to him seemed to be in an uproar. And so he wrote about the flood of mortal ills prevail, as that older translation has it. And he went on to say, and though this world with devils filled should threaten to undo us, paraphrasing the song, he said there are times when trouble and ill seem to rise like a flood all around us, and days when we're, we feel like we're under attack if not by devils and demons of another kind, or by people who might as well be devils. And there are days too, he says, when it's all too much for us. And we feel like we're just coming undone, that our lives are coming undone. And yet in the face of it all, Luther proclaims, a mighty fortress is our God. And that's what the Reformation was all about. God. 
That's it. God. Seeing God in a new way. Seeing the truth of God that Scripture proclaims. And what is this truth of God? That God is a bulwark, never failing, as Luther puts it. You know what a bulwark is? It's a rampart, or an embankment built to defend against threats, whether it be the threat of enemies, or rising water, or what have you. And what Luther proclaims is that God is our bulwark, a rampart that protects and defends us and holds back all that threatens to undo us. And though all our defenses and efforts to protect ourselves finally fail, God does not fail, Luther proclaims, does not give way in the face of anything. Or to put it more simply, God, Luther says, is our helper amid the flood. God is not our enemy, but our helper. God is not against us, but for us. God is a God of grace and mercy who seeks our well-being who works salvation and life for us, who is with us, and is indeed a very present help in trouble. God is a mighty fortress. But how do we know that this is really the truth of God? Because, Luther says, it is the truth of Christ. Christ is the right man on our side, Luther declares, the one in whom the truth of God is seen. It's what the cross of Christ proclaims, that Christ is on our side and wins for us the battle against sin and death and all that seeks to destroy us. It is a breathtaking image of God, of Christ. The God who has every right to be against us, given the way we are, given our great sin and foolishness, is in fact for us. It's the truth of forgiveness, God's grace and mercy, the truth of God remaining faithful to us, even when we are faithless to God. That's what Luther saw in Christ, God's faithfulness, that God's promise of rescue and life can be trusted. Or to put it another way, we are not alone in the battle. And thank God we're not, because as Luther says, did we in our own strength confide all our striving would be losing. The truth is that our own strength is not enough to win out against all that seeks to undo us. The truth is that if all we have to rely on is the strength we can muster on our own, now and then, then surely we are lost. Because there are so many times when we reach down and nothing, nothing is there. No strength left. The truth is not all the self-help books in the world will do it. Because what we need is a strength beyond our strength. And the name of that strength is Christ Jesus. And that strength, that Christ can be counted on. From age to age the same, Luther proclaims, while everything else in our world might be changing, while everything else might be uncertain, Christ's love for us, Christ's strength for us, Christ's battle for us does not change. He remains on our side and at our side. And what all of this means for our day-to-day -day lives, Luther says, is this. We sh will not fear. That's always been the great struggle each day. And now more than ever, fear Fear of the unknown, fear of tomorrow, fear of all the changes in what is happening. Fear for our families, our children, ourselves, this world. Fear is absolutely killing us as people, a nation, a world. Killing hope and joy and generosity, the very things of God. That's the real battle each day, not to fear, but to have faith. Biblically, the opposite of faith is not doubt, but fear. But we need not fear, Luther says, because God has willed his truth to triumph through us. What Luther is saying is that God has willed that his love triumph through us, that in him we triumph and have life. What he's saying is that in Christ, God has already willed it to be so. 
We shall triumph over all things in Christ. We shall have life, even in the midst of suffering and death. The truth of his grace and mercy and power shall be seen in us, and we shall have life. And what finally brings all that seeks to undo us to its knees is one little word, Luther says. And what he meant was the gospel of Christ. God's word of grace and mercy and salvation in Christ. For Luther, it was a word that no earthly power could ever defeat. But, but how do we ever come to such belief, such faith? Here again, it's not about us. It's about God. It's about the power of God working in and through us. Luther puts it like this, the spirit and the gifts are ours. The spirit is God's helping hand, reaching out to us every day, with us every day, giving us the gift of faith and the gifts of hope, strength, patience, love, kindness as well. God himself will give us the faith we need, the strength we need. And to say, I believe, is to allow God's power and push back all the fears and worries and troubles and allow God's strength in to trust that God is our helper and will see us through. And with such trust comes the gift of peace, the peace Luther so longed for. The peace that even in the midst of the loss of goods and kindred and this mortal life also, where it can be at peace, it in the midst of all the changes and chaos, God's truth abideth still. And that ultimately is our true peace. The truth of God's faithfulness, God's power. Peace is to hold on to that in all things. So that's our heritage as a church of the Reformation. That truth, the truth of God. And so we should celebrate today. Celebrate not Luther or the church, but celebrate God. God's love for us in Christ, and we should give thanks. Praise God and live with love for God and love for others. For truly, truly, God is a mighty fortress, a bulwark, never faileth.